Hi, I'm Kirsten. I'm Martha. And we are librarians at the Elkin Public Library, and we're here today to talk to you about Jojo Moyes' new book, The Giver of Stars. Jojo Moyes is the author of Me Before You, and even though this book came out in fall of 2019, she, uh, Universe Pictures has actually already purchased the rights to turn this into a film. Another of our staff members, Kim, listened to the audiobook and said it's really great that the woman who does, who's reading it does the voices and it really helps bring it to life. So if you like audiobooks, that might be a great way for you to listen to the book. Okay, so Giver of Stars is a historic fiction and it's set in the coal mining mountains of eastern Kentucky during the Great Depression. Um, it's, the story is built on the facts around the Pack Horse Library Project, which was a program of the Works Progress Administration the WPA during the depression. And its objective was to bring books and reading to isolated rural communities of Kentucky where the illiteracy rate was very, very high. Um, Moyes has done a really masterful job of creating the ambiance and scenery of that part of the United States. If you've ever traveled or lived in Eastern Kentucky or the mountains of Tennessee or North Carolina, I think you'll agree that she is, her, all, all her descriptions ring very true. Um, and it's amazing she did this because she is actually British. So her characters are also beautifully wrought. They're very believable. So Kirsten, tell us about the characters, the two main characters. Okay, so Alice is our first main character. She's British and she grew up in this very cloistered environment. And one day she meets Bennett Van Cleve and his father and they have a bit of a whirlwind romance and she ends up marrying Bennett and going with him to America where she believes she's going to have this adventurous new life. But when they get to this small town in Kentucky, she realizes it's just as claustrophobic as her life in England. So one day they're at a town hall meeting and one of the town leaders gets up and starts talking about the Pack Horse Library and how they need young girls to help deliver the books. And Alice signs up, hoping it'll give her some purpose. Well, that's where she meets Marjorie, who's our other main character. And Marjorie is a very tough, self-sufficient woman who lives alone, but she's in a long-term relationship with a coal miner named Finn. And Finn respects the fact that she is a self-sufficient woman. And the two of them end up traveling all over the area to deliver books to a lot of people, and they end up becoming very close. In all of their travels, a lot of plot lines start popping up, and Moyes has done a great job of interweaving all of them. They're all essential to the entire movement of the book. And what she has created is a lovely, rich, and deep story. It's a celebration of love. It's a celebration of reading. Um, it talks about female friendships. But it also is a great illustration of the grit people will develop to survive their hardships and end up having a very fulfilled and satisfying life. Now, there is a great interview with Jojo Moyes that's on YouTube. It's at an ALA luncheon last year, and she goes into depth about how she came to be involved with this book, what drew, drew her to the Pack Horse Librarians. So if you go to YouTube and you just type in Giver of Stars Jojo Moyes interview, uh, it's one of the top things that pops up. And it's great to just give you some background information about why this book came to be. We hope you'll read the book. Thanks for listening today. Thanks for joining Bye. us. Bye.